ABC and CDE are straight lines. This is ABC and CDE. These two are straight lines. It is even. And AE parallel to BD. AE parallel to BD. Work out the size of A, B, D. Okay. So first we have to find where it is. A, B, D. This is the angle required, right? This is the angle required. And see, we have two parallel lines over there. See, these two are parallel lines. And we have a transversal like this, right? We have a transversal. So actually, this angle and this angle. See, these two are co-interior angles, right? Co-interior angles. See, to make it clear, let us forget about all the other given data. Now, it will be easy, you know, easy to understand. See, we have two parallel lines and a transversal. So, these two are co-interior angles. And we know co-interior angles property. That is, the sum of co-interior angles is 180 degree. Or we will say it is supplementary. So, in order to get this angle, 180 minus 105. Right, 180 minus 105, we will get it as 75. So this angle is 75 degrees. So we got the angle for the first part, A part of the question. This is 75 degrees. Now the next part of the question, B, D, C. So B, D, C. This is the angle required. Okay, so this angle, this green colored angle, and see, there we have a straight line, and we have two angles here. So these two angles are linear pair. So linear pair, we know they are supplementary or linear pair. The angles, uh, when we add, we should get 180 degrees. So 180 minus 112. That will give us this angle, right? Thus, we will get it as 62 degrees. Now, the second part is also over. This is 68 degree. Now, C part. A, E, C. A, E, C. So, this angle, that is the required angle now. Okay. So, that purple colored angle, how to get that? See, we have again, these two lines are parallel. And here we have a transversal, right? Transversal in order to... Get a clear view. Let us forget about all the things. Okay. All the other unwanted things. Now, this angle is what we have to find out, right? This angle. And these two angles are, again, co-interior angles, right? Co-interior angles are supplementary. So, when we add them, those two angles, we should get 180 degree. So, 180 minus 112, again, 68 degree we will have here, right? And again, one more option. See, these two lines are parallel and here we have a transversal like this. Okay. So, the angles, this one and this green colored angle, these two are corresponding angles. Like as also we can give the explanation. So, again, we got it as 68 degree. So, the C part is done, 68 degree. Now, we need A, C, E. A, C, E. E. So, this angle, angle at this corner. So, for that, let us consider this triangle. We know the angles and property of a triangle. We should get 180 when we add all the angles in a triangle. So, what we have to do is we have to add 105 and 68. Okay. So, uh, then we have to subtract it from 180 because angle sum of a triangle should be 180 degree. Okay, when we subtract, we will get it as 7 degrees. Thus, we got all the angles in that figure. Thank you. Hope you understood.